Hey, this is DIY with Dewey. We just finished up the M6 and I was having issues with the throttle. The throttle sensor was acting up, so it was throwing a check engine light. And I'm gonna show you guys how to fix it. So what I did was I replaced the throttle throttle sensor, I replaced it on bank one. After I replaced it, it still had the issue. And so I transferred the bank one throttle sensor over to bank two and vice versa. And then it still stayed at bank one. So I was thinking, oh, maybe it's a throttle actuator. So what I did was I flipped the throttle actuators. I removed them, transferred the throttle actuators over. And it still stayed on bank one. So I kept trying to figure out what was going on. And what happened was the throttle, the throttle sensor was installed backwards. So it's really difficult to tell which way it's supposed to go in. And I'm just gonna show you how to install it back in the correct direction. But if you flip it 180 degrees, no matter what you do, it won't, um, the car will still go into limp mode and it won't start up and run correctly. And once I've flipped it, um, flip the throttle sensor 180 degrees, the pin 180 degrees, and installed everything, it still had the, the throttle, the check engine light still popped up. But what I did was I did a throttle reset afterwards. Once everything was installed back together, I started, I didn't start the car, but I turned up the, put the key in, and I noticed that instead of going directly into limp mode at 4,500 RPM, it went into 6,500 RPM. So it, I was like, all right, well, that's different than before. And then, so I pieced everything back together, started it up, and it still showed limp mode. And then what I did was I did a throttle sensor reset, and that's when you just put the key on, turn the ignition on without starting the car, hold the gas pedal for about 30 seconds, and then you turn it off. I pushed the brake, I turned off the car, and then I started the car, and then it turned on without any check engine lights, and now it's running good. But all right, I'll show you guys what I did. Okay, so bank, bank one is for US models, Bank one is passenger side. If you're looking from, this is the front of the car, that's the firewall, the strut bar. Bank one throttle sensor is under that plenum right there. And bank two is up front right here. So basically this, the sensor is connected to a rod that goes through all the, the throttle bodies all five on this side and then five on this side. So the part number is identical for this throttle sensor and the one back there. All it does is it's just flipped over to the other side. So we're gonna replace that um, throttle position sensor in the back and we'll see. I'm thinking I might remove the, the front one. There's the, the other one, throttle position sensor up here. I might move that to the back and then the new one I'll install back here. And then if it follows, if it's still bank one, then it's another issue. Okay, I don't think we can get to that sensor. There's not enough room, so we'll have to remove this plenum. So I'm gonna start by removing the left side plenum. I probably won't remove the right side. But there's a screw right there on that clamp. what I have so far. There. That's the only thing holding it on left. Okay. Front of the engine, rear of the engine, and we're trying to reach that sensor. So here's the wiring that comes through. And I can't even see. Oh, that's the connector right here. So it's a little push pin that goes in. All right, so there's just two, two screws back there. I use a little wrench, a seven millimeter wrench in order to loosen the two bolts holding the throttle sensor.
we got the sensor out. To get the sensor out, the sensor I bought, it was just, it didn't come with the wiring harness. So it was just the sensor itself. I made a tool in order to get that screw off. It looks like a, almost like a, a star. Except it's not five, but it was six sided or vice versa. Maybe it was a five sided. And I took a flathead screwdriver and cut it in order to get that off. All right, I took a flathead and I just took a Dremel and cut out a little middle. I took a, like a miniature cutoff wheel and put it on the Dremel and cut a slit through it. So this was able to take out those two screws for the throttle sensor in order to switch it out the housing. And it worked. So it's really difficult to um, determine which way it goes in. So I'll add a couple of pictures in a bit. Put this back in. Okay, once you get that the plug, the throttle sensor plugged back in, you should be ready to reinstall both plenums and everything else that you took off. Um, you might have to look up another video on how to remove and install the plenums. So, but there's there's basically clamps underneath for each cylinder. There's a, a clamp. So five clamps over here. You can see them and reach them with the long extensions. But that's for a different video. This video this video is basically just showing you how to install, remove and install the throttle sensors. So I hope this helps and saves you a little bit of time. Um, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Okay, everything's back together and it's all ready to go. But after, after you install the throttle sensor, you also have to reset the throttle sensor. And this is how I did it. I'm gonna show you guys real quick. So you get the key, get in the car,
what I do is take the key, put it in the ignition. And push one time without, no, nothing, don't hold the brakes, don't hold anything. Push this button. Okay. Now push the gas pedal. Push and hold it for 30 seconds. Once you hit that 30 seconds, I let go of the gas pedal. Push this button. And then, so right now it's back. So then I leave the key in still. Push the brake. And then you start it. And that should reset. I'm, I don't want to reset it, so I'm not going to um, start it. But you start it, and then it should reset your throttle positioning sensor. And you should be good to go. It should get you out of limp mode.